update on the Gold Coast mum who took her sick 10-month-old daughter to hospital but then was sent home eight times before the little girl was treated. Mum Lily Curtis finally got her way after invoking what they call Ryan's Rule and Arabella's serious lung condition was finally identified. The case raises our daily dilemma today. What do you trust more, expert medical advice or a mother's intuition? Here with more on this story is Margaret Rafferty from Kidspot. <laughs> Margaret, good morning. Hi. So tell us about the condition of little baby. Finally, she was correctly diagnosed, is that correct? Yes, she had a, a serious bronchitis that needed long treatment uh, through specialists in order to be properly cured. But it did raise a really important question about a mother's intuition mm. and how we can use the power of that to make sure our kids get the treatment they need. And Ryan's rule is something that the Queensland government introduced and you were saying that yes. there's uh, a similar law in New South Wales and I'm, I'm sure other states as well, but this is a little boy who died after his condition wasn't identified and if I remember correctly the doctors just kept giving him Panadol. Mm, yeah, uh, yeah he then... had a serious bacterial infection and died of um, toxic, sh toxic yeah. shock. Um, tragic, tragic and it, it did lead to the, the implementation of something that they call Ryan's Rule, which gives parents the right to say, no, my child is sick, you've got to listen to me, I know mm. my baby better than anyone else. Because I think you do, you do get a sense, don't you, when something is not right with mm. your child and, and, you, they ke and if you feel like you're being fobbed off, you, I think it's so important but to it, keep but persisting. But it never goes away, I have to tell mm. you, because my daughter, she's 46, and, and she's, she was unwell earlier this mm. year and it, it went on and on and I said to her, have you been to the doctor, have you mm. been? She said antibiotics and I said, well, I don't like it. Mm. I said, I think, I think you could have pneumonia. Mm. And I, went, I, I, I made her go to my doctor. She did, she did have pneumonia. Mm. I mean, I knew mm. she wasn't right. I mean, you yes. never lose that yeah. instinct. No. You know when something's mm. not working in your mm. child. Yeah, and when we shared the story last week, we were really overcome by the amount of and the strength of the response from our readers mm. telling their stories. Mm. It was quite fascinating. Women who'd been told there was nothing wrong with their child, mm. who insisted that there was a problem, mm. who was then diagnosed with whooping cough. Mm. Um, you know, a whole lot of issues were brought up. I think you just go with your gut. I've been there before and yeah. I knew something was wrong and I thought, no, I'm going to go and get a second opinion. Mm. And there was something completely different. And as a parent, you want to make sure you're always doing the very best. Mm. And then a doctor said to me, the first thing he always does is to listen to the mum yeah. or the dad because mm. they know best. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And I think, you know, Ryan's rule is something that Queensland parents can invoke if they feel the need and that they're not being mm. listened to. But in other states, parents can ask for a clinical review mm. if they feel like their, their concerns aren't being listened to and that their baby <coughs> is ill and, and it's not being treated properly. Mm. So that is something that's open to other states, even if they're, they're not in Queensland. But at least we've got that thing up in Queensland now, we get a doctor come to the house. Yes, I think that... I think it's the best thing I've heard because we used to have it years ago. But We're going to need a doctor right here unless we wrap this up. Yeah, exactly, to Margaret. Thank so, you very much. <laughs> thank you. We've, uh, we've got some feedback on this topic this morning. Let's have a quick look. I believe my intuition. My husband was told he had a cyst. I thought it was there was more to it and after a second opinion he was diagnosed with stage 3 testicular cancer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Always trust your gut feeling, always. Well yep. said. And finally this from Ruth. Never heard of this rule, but it is great. A mother knows best. Well said, Ruth. Mm. Thanks again, Margaret. Thanks much appreciated. Much.